Right. And on that note, uh, let's move away from statistical analysis and into the indie of the week. Yeah. And this week's indie is a follow-up to last week's indie. Uh, I did say they were sister companies in a, ah. in a way. Um, last week, we had a look at the bigger things, the 30 mils, with a little touch of 6 mil at the end with the um, the troublemaker little tiny sci-fi film. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Vanguard is uh, the sister site slash retail partner. Um, and Vanguard oh. pretty much exclusively do smaller stuff. <laughs> they also have a few other companies that they do bits and pieces with. So mm. I will... Actually, I'll go to the gallery for once. Because I never really go to galleries. I normally skip them and then run off, cackling into the night. <laughs> uh, do they do I, tiny nuns with guns? Do, <laughs> They don't kind of yet, really, but they do uh, other stuff. Um, so, as you can see, heart music. <laughs> yeah, as you can see, there's a, a very sentinel feel to it. Mm. Um, there's a lot of communities out there who play classic epic, yeah. Um, yeah. and Battlefleet Gothic and games of that ilk that you can't get anymore. And then, obviously, there are a ton of spin-offs and and other companies producing their own small scale. Um, sci-fi games uh, so there's a, a relatively big even before GW talked about bringing back Legio you, you may or may not buy it on eBay from a scalpel uh, or whatever it's called <laughs> there was already tons of people looking for stuff and, and making stuff um, and these are some of the six mil from their um, defect in detail I think range look how cute those orcs are but they also do <laughs> three mil add 15 mil uh, as well as bringing in a few other bits and pieces as well Uh, so i'm just going to go to there oh crikey and there's a lot (laughs) blimey charlie yeah i will start with uh battle group helios so this is essentially a set of sci-fi ships um that match the army types slash nation slash world of the um Defeat in detail. There we go. Defeat in detail. Um, armies, but these mm-hmm. are just their spaceships. So you'll see when we go into some of the actual armies, the the ground troops, they have. Um, well, they've got not just very distinctive looks. They have um, some of them are very distinctly. You know, this would work for Eldar. Some of them are. Right. This is theoretically the same faction as that Eldar, but looks very different. Uh, with the ships, it's a bit less cut and dry. Um, mm-hmm. They're not. Some of them are very distinctly chaos slash space marine adjacent, and then other ones where you would think, well, it should be more sleeky Eldar looking or still a bit blocky and, and stuff. So if you mm-hmm. want to run these out for something like a billion suns um, mm. or other ship to ship combat games as well, they would work for that. But obviously, Gothic, Gothic was a really tight rule set with the exception of when they added the Eldar, which I'll get onto in a minute. Um, <laughs> They had a terrible tendency to do this. They would make a really good rule set, and then they would put in a race that broke the rule set, like Eldar and their solar seals. I remember playing some Battlefleet Gothic, and we just did sort of like an intro game with Mm. the Space Marine Imperial stuff and the Orcs, and it seemed fine. And then my friend went, hey, you play Eldar. Do you want to do this? And then uh, Mm. my mind broke. So Yeah. yeah. (laughs) Because uh, for all intents and purposes, Gothic was epic third. The, the Titan rules from Epic Third mm. was how the ship to ship combat worked. Um, so if you if you played one, Look you could segue that. into the other really easily. But these I always really love cute. it when companies or properties make ships that just look like massive guns mm. because that's all they need to be. They don't need to be sleek because space. <laughs> and this, this is why we love the A10 Warthog. Yeah. Aerodynamics don't matter. Yeah. That's why we're we're, we have a gun. Cubes. What do we do with it? Build a plane around it. <laughs> it's always the it's the thing that's always so cool about the stuff from uh, Halo or from Aliens. They're just big, mighty ships that are just massive mm. guns. It's amazing. Yeah, some oh. really good frigates, and they do have a really nice design system with the um, turrets with the, and yeah, yeah. and that sort of thing. So. The little destroyers can be sort of upgunned in various ways. Play around um, with different bits and pieces. It also means that they can have it so that the guns poke out a little bit more because they're having yeah. them, rather than having to sink them into it and stuff like that. Yeah. So that's cool. Well, yeah. if I find who am I after? I'm not after that. I will be after that. 
The Nova uh, Knights. I feel like I'd be mad after that. I thought it was at the Human League then. <laughs> like, oh. yeah. Well, you're not you're not far off because the Hellion <laughs> League are not dissimilar to certain Spackmorans. <laughs> that's very similar to the was it the Cobra. Oh, yeah, they've got that big blade prow on the front. Mm. Mm. But when you see things like the, where are we? There we are. Oh yeah, so yeah, yeah. They do the mm. weapon options mm. as inserts the same way that um, nice. GW did it for the the plastic kits. Yes. So with the <laughs> judicious use of magnets, you've got flight <laughs> decks, you've got broadsides, and you've got massive laser beams, depending cool. on your your choice. Mm-hmm. So you say the um, the fleets are really cute. Mm-hmm. There's some nice bits and pieces in there. And even if you're not playing Gothic with it, if you want to pick it up for a billion suns or, mm. you know, uh, full thrust or anything yeah. else like that, mm. then, and there's, I'm sure there's plenty of other games out there, Sign of Death. Then I mean, there's a, a lot Gothic of Gothic is one of those games that I feel like I missed out on. Like I said, it was, it was good fun until they put in, there's certain fleets that just break the game. Now, I've no doubt, like a lot of other things like Warmaster and like Epic, where the, the community jumped on board and went, we're not going to let this die and have kept the rules up to date and tweaked. Mm. They've probably rebalanced them enough that they're playable without losing your mind. Yeah, um, I think so. Mm. Which, so without you murdering know, your opponent? Nice. Yeah. <laughs> uh, they also do a range of ordnance, so mines, breaching pods. Oh, um, nice. A whole range of torpedoes and uh, bits and bits and bobs like that, which are all really cute to have and handy for other things as well. If you're doing mm. scratch building, Do I like that like the. To... Uh, I mean, I know this is thing that happened on most mm. sprues, but the tab that comes with some of the ships had the name of it on. Yes. So if you wanted to, you could clip that off and stick it onto something to be like, ah, this is what this is. So <laughs> if you heat it up till it gets rubbery, you could just slide a sharp oh. blade right behind it and then just put it around the base. Yeah. yeah. It's the joy of resin. Cool. Um, I will jump out of sequence for me, I know, into Whoa. SDLs. Hey, um, way of character. Because they do a few different companies um, uh-huh. as licensed the Italian and, moose, what a name! Yeah, uh, and they are—they're very good in that regards. Um, so these are the Vanguard ones that we seen from um, mm-hmm. Troublemakers website last week, I think. Uh, and then there's Troublemakers themselves, so those will be semi-familiar. Oh, mm. you two can have objective markers. Eldar, uh, Yates. Yep, warp yeah. gates and uh, warp gates, yeah. power generators and other things to dress up as a little Eldari world. However, I think my favourite, and this one's going to be a good one for John, oh, is no. the <laughs> Blitz Designs, because they've got a whole rake of Give six tiny mil cities. tiny cities, including nice. a ton of little six to eight mil cactus. Oh, oh that'll <laughs> make you happy, Jerry. Look at that. <clears throat> you can decorate your city with all the loveliness of cacti. Cacti everywhere, <laughs> uh, but the the hab blocks and stuff like this are just gorgeous. Mm. Those are nice, and they're not alone. I like nope. the different ah. levels they've done to it as well. That's cool. Yeah. Damn you! Drop down, get out of my way. Look, there's a tiny fat man, and then, <laughs> and then here's feels like a mega block. Yeah. Look, they're all boarded up in places. Don't go in there. Really nice. It Look all goes cool. horribly wrong, but they've also got the landing ships. Yeah, that drops various ships crates, awesome. yeah. cargo containers, barrels, drunk workers. You know, the, a load of this smaller, weird scatter mm-hmm. um, that you wouldn't ordinarily see. Your little uh, prefab units as well. There they are. There's my tech shanties. That's what we're here for. We'll start with the drunk workers then. Why are you on the ground, mate? Get up. There's work to do. It was a really, really good night. That's the drunk version of what is it, Adam and God with the Yes. <laughs> Reaching out to the spark yes. of creation. <laughs> More mechanicus than battle tech, but yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. but I mean bar that one in the middle, all the rest are pretty much yeah. on point. Just cut the one skull off. Uh, there we go. Mm. He does have a thing. Look, there's more of the little tiny workers. Now, don't open those kegs until you've unloaded them all. <laughs> <laughs> you muppets. Uh, um, 
That's fabulous. So that's a nice little range, and there's an other in here, um, which I think is. Epic. Oh, I know the Gregster stuff. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So Gregsters does. Uh, that's a squad colossus for epic fans, mm-hmm. and that's a. I want oh, to see the city killer, please. You want to see the city killer? Yes. Okay then. We should see the city killer. I want to see the one with the bigger gun too. <laughs> no, let's find me. I'm trying to remember what the bigger gun was called. It was Colossus, the land tree, and something uh, else. Ordinatus. Might be that. I'm Possibly. thinking. It's. I think these are all squat based. Right. So. Let that's more like it. <laughs> Gustav's grandchild. <laughs> Crikey. Times many. But yeah. I, <laughs> I have brought a gun to this standoff. There is no longer a standoff. It's no longer city, yeah. There's no longer anything. The city in that general direction has offended me. Please remove it. If my gun misses, I have another gun and <laughs> missiles. I have a gun I'm, that fires my gun. I'm, ca- I'm carrying ICBMs on the back of my chassis. <laughs> okay, cool. Oh, why? Because reasons. I'm, I'm all for it. And finally, the Italian moose going back to the BFG. Doing Agent Star Elves. Mm, with their Those are nice. Yeah. They're, yeah. they're very similar to the. They're a mix of the, the sort of the more modern GW Eldar for Battlefleet Gothic, but also with a sort of a silent death look to the old uh, Starship game, which was all very seal, solar seal based and stuff. So. They are very, very, nice I very much approve these designs. Yeah. Very nice. So, yes. So, if you're into the old. Um, Ship to ship combat, then they've got you sorted there. Uh, and then there is the 15, 3, and 6 mil um, defeat detail stuff. We'll start with the 6. It is, after all, what everything else is scaled for. Um, so some of it um, are ho, ho, ho. component parts. So there's like a battle bit section where you can get upgrades for actual plastic kits uh, but the majority are full on either 3D printed or metal kits themselves um, which are all very cute cute I mean nice that's an interesting take love that have a go if you think you're hard enough <laughs> I love that it's got the missile pods quite raised so it looks like it's going mm. like it's like doing the chicken wings. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it kind of looks like one of the more obscure Macs from yeah. uh, Mac Warrior 3. Mm-hmm. Um, the Mac called the Owens. It just looked like a cockpit that had big ears, but the ears <laughs> were missile pods. It, so it, what, it's a little Mickey Mouse? Yeah. It could well be that. I those mean, are nice. I like those. When it comes to sci-fi walkers, mm-hmm. everything is up for grabs. If you wanted to do some human Eldar, that would work quite well. Mm-hmm. Or, sorry, human toy. Human Eldar, oh, yes. get out. <laughs> yeah, I know. Sorry, monkeys are smelly. Well, you've got the little crew compartment as well. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. Oh, there's a lot of weird little crew bits kicking around here and there. Brilliant. There's, there's a Skinner. So, obviously, there the six mil plastics are humans and Skinners. Mm-hmm. And uh, there's one of the big ones. <laughs> oh, don't be little dude. Kicking around now, he's no longer alone. Oh, um, if I go to Troublemakers bit here, so they kick started this at the start of the year, uh, which is a game called City Crushers. Nice, and it went out to backers in October and it's now hit retail, but it is essentially that it's giant stompy robots fighting each other in, well, in a city slash arena. Um, As the the Kickstarter video said, uh, which is worth going to watch, uh, it's enough training to make an accurate representation of modern-day London. (laughs) (laughs) But you do get, I mean, 110 quid. It's a big, stumpy box of stuff. There's six of the bigger uh, crushers, and then I think 16 of the smaller. Two, four, six, eight. Yeah, 16 of the smaller. But there's also a... um, an upgrade that Skinner we seen a minute ago, the, the big one. There's like an upgrade kit that you use because these are all hard plastic. Ah. So you can then upgrade your 
Stumpy Robot to be um, That's very uh, cool. bigger again. Uh, so particularly for Orc Epic players out there, being able to get your hands on 22 Gargants and, well, 16 Gargants and 6 mm. Mega Gargants um, in, in hard plastic is baseballs. balls. The yeah. uh, bases also have the little discs so you can count shields slash wounds on them as well for the game. Nice touch. Uh, mm -hmm. Which is really handy to have. So mm -hmm. fascinating to see how that goes in the long run. Uh, I'd like to get hands on a copy myself and, and have a swizz around with it mm -hmm. just for novelty value. But you can also pick up the individual, the capital crushers are the big ones and then the city crushers are the, the little bitty ones. But you're looking 22 quid for what's in there. Was it eight? I don't know if it's the full eight. It is fully eight for 20, 20 bucks. Like. That's not bad. I mean, can't be bad for it. No, they're very cute. Yeah, I'm for yeah. a range of uh, hard plastic, orky things, fussy to retract. <laughs> that's, a, that's a bargain by Grab Thor's Hammer. Yeah. Mm, See, I kind of want to get an, an orc mech boy and just put a remote control in his hand and just like, like a swarm of these. <laughs> You know, just him RCing like remote bomb gargants that are tiny. That would be super cool. I love the idea of that. That's that would be a cool. Um, I don't have squigs, but I have these. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why do you not have squigs? Bomb you should always have yeah, squigs. The, the boss ate all the squigs. Yeah. So here so we are have RC. So here are more of the six mil skinners. Then, hmm. so you two nice. can field your full epic armies if you Those want. Are really well detailed. Well. Yeah. yeah. That's hilarious. It, 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 that makes me smile <laughs> looking at it. It's uh it's a thing of it's a thing of epic beauty. It really is. Tiny, mm. tiny epic beauty. Mm. Leaders in heavy armor. Yeah. yeah. Intriguing. Yeah, so your knobs. Mega armors. Mega armor yeah. knobs. Yeah. yeah. Chunky boys. Not too long ago, in the distant future, I was doing a crossword <laughs> and one of the uh answers was actually knobs with a Z because someone had clearly read some Games Workshop Warhammer fiction at some point and decided, you know, and I was like, wow. That, <laughs> that's that the first weird. time that's appeared in The Guardian. <laughs> so, uh, that is peculiar. Yeah. <laughs> How'd that one get past the editor? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. These are really good. Yeah. So if you're going to be playing Epic or if you're going to, as I imagine a lot of people are going to do, Start working out Xenos forces for yes. Legends Imperialis. Actually, make it yeah. make it epic and stop stop hawking Horus Heresy at us for yeah. six nope. months. Nobody cares about space brains. We certainly don't want to see space brains fighting space brains again. Again, mm -hmm. give us please. give us unusual things. Give us squat land trains. Give us. I want phantom biker titans mobs. leaving yeah. across the battlefield, cutting warhounds in half. That's what Do I want. You? <laughs> Yes. I, I want to build the hive of Necromunda and just have a force assaulting it. That would be cool. Yeah. These are uh, a bit of the, what do they call it? Mechanicus? Is that sort of thing? Mechanicus yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. So you two can have a human tech force. But again, I mean, if you're playing something like um, Epic, it slots straight in there. And if you're playing other things, there's a lot of weird. Uh, cybernetic humans these aren't so over the top in six mil that they no. are starkly set they're, into they're one not or the festooned other. in skulls yeah yeah <laughs> oh no they might be they're just very teeny tiny yes they're all on the inside <laughs> i like those yeah so six mil has all of those Ooh. uh if we go 15 only has a few little pieces in there at the moment. Ooh. But they do have Nidley nids. Some nids. Or endomorphs running around the place. Going bork, bork, bork. That's a nice noise <laughs> they make. Nobody can tell me I'm wrong. So but they can, but I just won't listen. Uh, or they Much while many stabbing. <laughs> so you're 15 mil. Spackamorans. Uh, Marinios. Multi part 15s. Wow. That's, uh, that's horrifying. That's just your command squad. That's, that's intimidating. <laughs> <laughs> you're, uh, I mean, fine, you can have them the way you want, but dear God, you've got to go blind trying to glue that together. 
<laughs> Look, John. Oh, no. Just about <laughs> Deathcore. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's... Oh, Temptation. Nearly had to swear there. <laughs> <laughs> say Thank nothing. You. Amazingly adorable is what I'm going to say. Greece oh, I love the commissar. Cycles. There's my favorite so far. Yeah. No, I don't care about the commissar. I just want my happy gas mask boys. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> uh, but none of them have a shovel. They probably well, all have shovels. Probably. Mm. We could go back and double check. <laughs> Stop criticizing other That's people's okay. work, Justin. If you can't do I said it, I love it. Yourself. it. Hush. Mm, and in case, you. in case you want to, you can also run them in three mil, which allows you to have really big tanks and stuff. Mm. Look at the tiny little sentinels, which are probably mm. the same size as the six mil stuff. We like you. Very cool. Oh, you could actually field entire regiments. Yeah, that would yeah. make me so happy. <laughs> oh, you like should be showing me this stuff. Look, hurricane ground fighters, mm. platoons of tanks. Mm. There's a siege regiment company for nine quid. <laughs> nine nine quid. pounds. Wow. Three mil fill your boots. Oh no. Yeah. Oh. You play can out, do play tiny forty K multi based. Massive so, engagements. I don't I don't want us to do ACW anymore. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry will murder you. You you surprise me, not at all, John. <laughs> but I was so glad because I didn't think you were going to be on the show this week. No. And I was like, I was like, oh, this is Jim because he really enjoyed this. Um, <laughs> so imagine my surprise whenever you appeared. It was delightful. It was lovely. I didn't. I didn't hurt Shay. I didn't read the running order. I didn't read the running order and apply a sledgehammer to Shay's ankle. And we're all very happy that you didn't. Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> The Titanic and Aeronautica compatible bits are mostly terrain with some yep. of the other six mil mm-hmm. things we've already seen, including your, your phantom walkers. Yeah. Yeah. And then all your ancillary terrain bits. Yep. And like I say, if you are a fan of the uh, GW Titans, there are these upgrades, including he's out of stock, unfortunately, which is a terrible shame, but hopefully it won't be long before they come oh. in so you can get some. Nice. Interesting little detaily upgrady bits. Mm. You two can have a warhound looking like God intended with lovely yellow and black. And it won't uh, break your bank balance either. Mm. So. Well, some of them are uh, some of them are uh, add-ons to kits rather than full kits yeah. themselves. So you still need to pick up the GW kit and then oh, just and then upgrade. Yeah. But I imagine there's probably <laughs> other people out there who do similar kit appropriate things then that you can then get body together. Bits. Yeah. And hammer them all away. But there we go. So that's like Vanguard. It. Love it. Yeah. What more of it? I've great me. I need to find a rule set now. <laughs> I have, you have a rule set <laughs> <don't> you? <laughs> One moment. We'll talk about this later on, Joe. Right, that'll do. <laughs> right. That's the end of the week. Uh we're gonna take a quick swish and come back for the news. <laughs> 